Mm. Time um, to go to a cemetery? Yeah, which one, though? Wow, that military cemetery is all the way up there. Let's do that. Does that mean we're going to run into another location? Ha! You were right. Yep. You notice a chill in the air and suddenly you realize you've lost track of where you are. Camel seems spooked and you can't say you blame him. You spot what looks like a town in the half hazy distance, but it turns out to be a hazy town fairly close. A mostly transparent sign reads, Welcome to Ghostwood. Oh. Oh, she has, a, uh, She has another thing. There's a ranch out this way run by a lady named Alexandria. Not that I got much hope for her still being alive. Burial plots are eternal flame. Or it's a caretaker shanty. Hmm. Let's check out the flyers. You poke around in the shed. The caretaker appears to have been shirking his duties for a while, judging by the dust and cobwebs. You find a flyer for Military Reenactment Enthusiasts Society. Apparently, they meet regularly at Fort Memoriam. Look at the tools. Well, singular tool, there's a shovel here. Since you already have a shovel, you leave it alone. It's not like you'd be able to dig twice as fast. Like all chairs owned by one guy, it has years worth of lint and food crumbs underneath it. <laughs> the desk is covered with old paint-spattered newspapers and features a large collection of tiny jars of paint as well as a jar of finely, fine-tipped brushes, a can of thinner, and a stack of history books. Aww. He does the little miniatures. Oh, there's a goblin. Caution, do not touch eternal flame. Well then, let's go up to the goblin. This goblin is roasting a weenie over the eternal flame. I am pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. No, is good fire, not to wasting it. Ah. How many weenies does he have on there? That is five. Five weenies. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, that's... Look at that annihilation. <laughs> Bonk. Minus 313 HP. <laughs> oh, cool. I got Goblin Bratwurst. Okay, time to go to the burial plots. Beyond this gate stands countless rows and columns of tombstones. They're not actually countless. I've counted them, and there are 999 of them. Oh, why? Is there a certain thing we were supposed to do with this? Ah, uh, let's... Okay, hold on. Let's go through... 666! 666, yes. <laughs> God damn it, you gave me more necromancy! <laughs> Next to that tombstone, you find a pedestal with a leather-bound book on top of it. Looks evil. You'd better grab it before someone else does. Okay, 420. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh. More necromancy! Are you... Examine skull chips in your inventory and enchant them. As you turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a puck. Oh, god damn it. Ooh. <sighs> Sorry. Stop giving me necromancy! <laughs> okay, fine. 420. <laughs> Just blaze. <laughs> Hold on, I have skull chips, don't I? Pretty sure I have yeah, skull chips. Yeah, you did. Oh, no, you made them into ring. I, I made some of them into ring. Ah, here we go. And sorcel. And sorcel. And sorcel. And sorcel. Okay, I can only have three of those. Oh. Okay. Oh, I need to ensorcel one of these, though. Okay, I can only have three of those as well. Aw. I can now I can now have skeletal wizards and skeletal skeletons already. Okay. Visit a plot. Uh, let's pick 420. <laughs> Four <tw> oh! Yes! You're a genius! <laughs> You're amazing! Plot 420 is completely overgrown with mushrooms. You root around in the loose shroomage and find a book. Okay, now we can read our journal again. 
Yes, we can. Okay. It's like the, the last is... item. No, it's not the last item, but it's it's pretty. There it is. Okay, read it, right? Okay. You found that discipline slip that mentioned dangerous mushrooms. It said that there's a patch of Mortis ostritus near the lair. Death oysters! They only grow in a narrow band between the big canyon and the mountains. You found a note, the magic word, ever cadaver. We still need someone magic. Ah! Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's just check one. Let's check one and let's check 999. Hmm. You approach a grave. It reads First Lieutenant Philom Philomena Delacruz. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, wow, he's fast and he's also pretty tough, but you know what? Oh, he threw a bean at you. Yeah, he's a bean cat. He's a bean caster or bean slinger. <laughs> bean caster. I'm trying to think of other numbers. I mean, we could go 42 for being the meaning of life, but I doubt that's one. Well, let's do 999. Private Juliet Nelson, 42nd Infantry Division. You hear rattling? Oh, okay, yeah. Listen, Julia, you're not gonna you're not gonna survive, okay? You're definitely not gonna survive. What do you, what is Okay, so what do you want to do? Forty two? Yeah. No. Nope. Okay. Uh Lieutenant Ella James, 42nd Inch Infantry Division. Oh! The soldier buried here hasn't been reanimated yet. We got burial whiskey, skull chips, and a handful of loose teeth. Uh, what, uh, what else is significant? Bad luck number? 13? Yeah, sure. Next to the tombstone, you find a pile of refuse obviously left behind by ne the necromancer's cultists. In addition to being evil meddlers and dark forces best left unmeddled in, those jerks are real litter bugs. Uh, you know what? Let's pick. Let's pick a lucky number. Triple sevens. Sergeant Major Paul Foley. The soldier buried here hasn't been reanimated yet, and we got an incendiary bullet and a chemical bullet. Okay, that's enough. Okay, let's, uh, Alexandria Ranch. How long have we been streaming for? Two hours, okay. Attack! <laughs> oh, I can't even read its negative HP. Like infinite negative? Oh. Oh hi. These cows are not happy. Fight it. <gasps> oh wow, these guys suck. <laughs> okay, it'll still be Bob. Yeah. <gasps> Even Susie's too beefy for these cows. More tainted beef. All right, let's see what we can do. Hmm. <laughs> Bull stomp. I was thinking of that, but I'm also thinking of saving up for the final rank of intimidating. Oh, okay. Okay, what's in here? Nope. Opa Gundam style. All right, undestroyed book self scavenged the diary of Alexandria Alexandria. Let's read it. You flip through the diary, most of it is uneventful, describing the life of a woman who likes books and isn't interested in much else. It ends with a passage about a soldier from the nearby fort warning her about some kind of danger he wouldn't specify, so she moved her most valuable books to the cellar and took the ordinary precautions, e.g. boarding up the windows and not leaving the house at night. 
Turns out that isn't much good against cannonballs. That was done by cannonballs? A heap of smoldering books. The books are wrecked, the volumes are ruined, the tomes are kaput. <gasps> punching! <laughs> Cow punching, yes. Hey, I wonder if the numbers of those books was significant. What do you mean? The 1 to 999. The number of books? You know how the plot has 1 to 999? Yeah. Your uh, cow books have different volume numbers to them. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a half cannonball, the front half. Investigate. For treason! Anyways. I mean, we could we could go back to the to the military cemetery. Well, what number was that book though? I think it was like volume eighty one. Reduces the frequency of random random encounters. Screw that! I want experience points. Damn it. <laughs> okay, that one was eighty one. So yeah, let's let's visit eighty one. That's an idea. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we don't know. She might have loot. Ow! Ow. Four damage? Uh-oh. A lot of muscle? We are in some trouble. Try some spook. That's not... Oh, okay. Hold on. We're... 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 We're gonna uh, tack up some uh, damage on this person. Whoa. Die! Die, damn you, die! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wait, yes. Okay, what else can we do? A silver bullet. No? Five units of poison. This will heal your target for 15 HP. Heal the target? Why would you want to heal your target? I don't know. Hmm. Can reduce his muscle, though. I wonder if I... If... Oh, yeah. We're gonna keep firing this until we have a shit ton of burn damage built up, and then we're gonna do this. There. And then, uh, bull stomp. There you go. Okay, I, I suggest we don't do that again. <laughs> okay. So where were we going? Treason? Oh yeah, Fort Treason. Uh, off the shul trail shoulder, you see some ancient petroglyphs carved into a rock. I translate them, and it says, "My fourth is the fourth of nothing but time." Huh? Yeah. Maybe they meant us right in Fort. Mm hmm. Mm. Let's go to the barracks in the mess hall. There's nothing in here. Loot them. Ah, oh, yes, I can kick it open. Fantastic. Military school class ring, silver bullets, and smelling salts. Okay. What about this? That's lock picking. Kick it open. Hey, all those incent. Private Lemon's Diary. Where is it? Shouldn't it be new? Try new. Oh, yeah. there it is. There it is. Oh, I see it's... it now, yeah. Yeah. I'm pointing on the screen. Can't you see me pointing? <laughs> no, Private Lemon's diary is pretty dry and not very interesting. Just a list of the day-to-day -day duties of a straight-laced soldier up in the hills without anything to fight. Toward the end, though, it starts to mention their commanding officer, Captain Simon, becoming increasingly agitated and convincing and convinced that a nearby ranch was being used as a spy outpost. Lemon doesn't sound convinced, but as one annoyingly vague entry puts it, orders are orders. The last few entries have to do with descent in the ranks and the possibility of mutiny, the thought of which Lemon abhors. The rest of the pages are blank. 
Well, there was, there was treason in more th way than one. Is that another one that's spelled differently? Yep, it's another one that's spelled differently. Of course I'm it's gonna... spelled differently. I can't believe there's like a hundred different ways you can spell this word. <laughs> this must have been where they stored all of the fire. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go to ghost Ghostwood. Also, lemon for treason. Mm. Uh, a southwest lightning snake. Na hmm. Have you fought that before? Nope, but guess what? We're getting beefy. And... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, let's see. Ghost... Oh, God, it really is ghost wood. Uh, sharpen a pencil? I haven't got any pencils to sharpen. The the building is a little ghost town, yeah. You might expect Ooh, to be able to just walk straight through the door of a ghost building, but some kind of force is preventing that. Let's try knocking on it. Howdy there, fella. New in town? I was wondering if... Sorry, I can't do business with you until you have a visitor identification card. Ain't supposed to talk to you, really. Okay, so I can get one at the... <laughs> you got worms. <laughs> I do have worms. It's a sad, sad day. Oh, hey. I can take the pencil. Oh. Ah, visitor. You'll be needing a visitor ID... Oh, that's a woman. Okay. You kind of finish that sentence. Yeah, I You'll guess so. <laughs> I'll be happy to fill in the forms. Most living people have trouble holding the pages. You'll need a number three pencil. You mean the one in the cactus over there? If you're filling in the form, can't you just use your own pencil? I will be, but the instructions say very clearly that the applicant must have a number three pencil. Isn't a number two pencil the usual kind? I suppose, but a number three is 50% more official. Okay, where can I get one? Try the Department of Rec Requisitions? It's just next door. You mean the general store? It's a little bit more specific these days, but yes. Office supplies, okay. Hello, excuse me, I need a... But I need a pencil <laughs> for... <laughs> you little cock! Well, try getting the pencil out of the cacti now. Oh, okay. Well, Susie, no one wants to deal with us here, so uh, we'll just... We'll just go Maybe you the... need some sort of paranormal feat. That's what I'm assuming. I mean, I even have my third eye. A deserted campsite, there are signs of a struggle, but blah blah blah, I'll create with mail. You know what? Crowbar open. <whistles> nice. Nerve pills, nice. What's that? Oh, increases armor by five. Nice. Yeah. Oh, not the 